Ember. Karthus Curved Sword. That'd be good if I was Dex, but no. But uh, I gotta find out what's bringing these guys back, that's for sure. I, I can't stay here all day fighting enemies that endlessly come back. It's stupid. Okay. And death. Wow. I actually didn't even fall that far and died. Whatever. This is an area that clearly... I'm just gonna run through a lot. I have no inclination to take my time against enemies that keep coming back. It's ridiculous. Lose souls, who cares? Get, get through this area as fast as possible. Kill whatever's bringing them back. Maybe even ignore this guy too. So do your uh, bone marrow ancient step arts. Go through you guys, because who cares? And you're gonna shoot me in the back. Oh, it's that stone trigger on the ground that I must have stepped on. Caused me to get uh, hurt really bad. Shouldn't walk in the direct center of things now, then. Alright, so there's this guy. Yeah, the lack of stamina is really hurting me bad. Tainite Shard and Kukri. That's a machete. I'm still not seeing any successive attacks healing me. Missed. Oh, that was a pleasant little dance. More Karthus Rouge. Great, more respawning dickheads. Oh. I've been through here. Never mind. I can count us with the five faster than you can. Dead end? No. Dead end? No. Just a bunch of people who are jealous that they can't count the Swifty Five as fast as me. More Twinkling Titanite. Blood Red Moss Clump, that stops bleeding. In this entire area, there's much ado about nothing. Okay. Wow. It really is, this whole place, this whole the uh, staircase, just goes nowhere. Hi guys. Did I, did I say I care about you guys? I don't think I did. If I did, I'm sorry that I've been misleading you. I clearly do not care about you guys. Okay. I can't jump over anything. But everyone else can jump over my attacks. Okay, that thing's alive. Hey look, bonfire. You seem kind of important. Can I hit you? That's not how to do it, if I can. What? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting they're, uh, they're pointless to kill because they keep coming back. All right, let's find out. Nope, can't hit him. Oh, nice. Undead bone shard. I need that. Actually, a lot. That's this flask plus four, right? Yeah. All right, so, um, this is, what? What? 
Humanity. Darkness. But those those look like humanities from a Dark Souls 1. Like the actual humanities. Carthus Milkman. Sounds important. Oh wait, no, it's all just these guys. Never mind. Yeah, and there's no point in fighting anything. That time that switch was on the right. Also, I see an item I missed, apparently. Let's go get the item. Oh. This is the rat catacombs. Having to three shot these guys is hurting me bad. Hello? you I remember that you're not very strong up front but if you land on me from above you do a ton of damage some and are you infinitely respawning I hope not also you're very tanky easy to kill but take a bit of take a bit of work Fine, I'm not afraid of work. Also, I just realized what that thing is. Okay, there's a couple more up ahead. Don't tell me these guys also come back. Because that would be bullshit. Like, these guys just have to die. These guys can't come back. That'd be way too stupid. Okay, one more swing. If you guys wanted to find a way to eat up my durability, you're uh, you're doing a good job of it. All right. I hear footsteps, but I don't know why. Nice, one hit. Yep. Oh, and there's already one behind me. Oh, cool, you got little tendril things that stick out. And I need to be able to do more than two successful attacks. Karthus Blood Ring? Okay. I'm all alone in the catacombs. Scared in a dark place. Lost, don't know where to go. In pain, no supplies left. Well, that was a delightful romp through Skeleton Town. I'm glad that the roll back swing does take these guys out. 
And that guy looks different than the rest. Yep, he's different than the rest. And he doesn't take shit from no one, apparently. Hey, don't interrupt the entire thing. That's just not right. Kukri, again. A Kukri is a kind of machete. Great. And what do you do? Well, you're dead now, but... Okay, so you're an archer. And clearly a distraction. It's a distraction. I have the car. Come on, follow me. Come with me, and you'll see the world of something. Just use your imagination. Make up the lyrics. I forgot. Good movie, though. No one else? Well, there's another guy down there, but I didn't aggro him, apparently. You do not. What? Oh. Are you serious? What do I do now? Okay, what is my status, by the way? Cursed? Anything? Can't tell. Still can't tell. Oh, I almost died. What? What did I aggro? Oh. Okay. So there's stuff down there. That's still trying to kill me. Good to know. Then we got this guy. Who I should be able- oh, it's another archer. No, it's not. It's worse. Much worse. One hit and I'm dead. Same goes for him though, apparently. Excuse me. Yeah. Oh no. Not this kind of nonsense. That is just stupid. Now he's coming back too? That's it. No fighting anything. Why bother? <sighs> just run through all the things. Why not? You know, if it wasn't for the fact that I got shot twice through a wall, that would have been a lot better. But oh well, lesson learned. Don't take cover unless you know you can rely on the cover. Bye bye. I'm not having a fun time in these catacombs. And now, skeleton's gonna come at me from above. Yep. There's this guy. Who's dead. Okay. There is a bonfire right here, but obviously I can't do anything to it. All those souls. Good job. So that's, that's where I just was. 
So down here is where I fell? No. Yeah. You can't really make that. I mean, either way, I have I have items there I need to try and get, so. Yep, clearly you can't. Giant rat, though. Um, you didn't get hit by that at all. And you also didn't get hit by my attack right in your face. I already went down there. Anything in here? Is this the bonfire? I hope so. Okay, that's fine. Bye. Here it is. And I can sit down and have a nice little relaxation time right here. Yep, and I still can't hurt that thing. Large Titanite? Okay. I'm gonna need some of those as I go. Okay. Wanna come at me? Come at me in here. Bye bye. Oh, you, you didn't even... Blood loss. Okay. That's fine. I have a good frame of reference for how these guys operate. Also, is that their brain? Kind of looks like their brain. Guys, if you've been watching this playthrough so far, I've died more this episode than, like, the entire playthrough. And it's time for me to admit, I just, uh... I'm a little bit impatient today. I haven't really had a great day so far. So... Nice. Not worth just as planned. But, you know, I... I'm still having a good time with the game itself. I just... I, I know... That it's my own problem for being patient. I'm not really observing everything I should. I'm still making good progress, though. Now, once I come through here, there's gonna be skeletons. And this guy. Now, it's the guy up by the other item who comes back for no reason. Those have a very strong homing effect. And there's an archer up the stairs over here that I also need. Did I just get turned around? And it activates every time you step on it. Note taken. I'm not mad, just... Wow, I should've known that. Okay, so you still can't make that jump. You're still alive. Oh, something here? There is something here. And this should hit all of you. Well, not all of you, but apparently it should have hit most of you. Why am I being stun locked by rats? Um. Okay, friend. You can go ahead and sit right there. I don't even care. Okay. Clearly that's a place. Reminds me of something, I can't tell what. Kinda reminds me of like a dark area in uh, Donkey Kong 64. Not sure why. So here's you. 
And there's this loser, which I don't even care about anymore. Let me get that. That's fine. Make me bleed. Kill me. And bonfire's right there. I don't care. And then there's this place, which I never went down. Next hit will cause blood loss. It's clearly a secret wall. Okay. And uh, there's that area and that area. So I guess I need to go all the way to the right past that guy and the watery sewer place. I still don't know where you are, really, I don't. Wait, maybe I should go, no, never, too late. Time to run this way. Did he try and backstab me? I hope that hits them, by the way. I wish you could swig some Estus while, like, falling. Don't care. I have a place to go. Hmm. Thought I had a lot more health than that. I'm trying to see what's in that cave thing right there. I can't quite make it out. Because I'm lost. I, I've explored like the immediate area. I just don't know the uh, way forward. Also, you go down there, right? You hit the rats. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a little silly. I, I rolled through it and even though I wasn't knocked back or anything, I'm not complaining about the damage. I was expecting damage. But just like, my character's like, ah, got hit. And here we go, this has got to be progression. Either way, Crystal Lizard. Fire Gem. Suspended bridge wearing thin. Don't knock me off. Oh, never mind, there's a place down there. I was expecting to get some souls back. After that guy fell to the bottom, but okay. So, new plan. Don't run through everything. Just run through most things. And also, follow the skeleton ball more closely. Hmm. It's impossible. Your character just doesn't run fast enough. Period. Oh well. So fight this guy for real. Tighten it shard, nice. Ignore that, which was a secret door for no reason. Come down here into progression. And... This guy's clearly hostile, so try and destroy him as fast as possible. 320 souls, <laughs> great. And this was the area we saw before. Oh, more respawning enemies. Great. Maybe I should do everything I can to knock all of them off the cliffs. Anyway, suspended bridge is wearing thin. Nothing else over here. I do wonder what happens if you knock these guys off the cliff. Because, like, yeah, they come back, but... Can they do anything? Can't tell. So, the bridge is wearing thin. Meaning I shouldn't take the bridge. Clearly. I just go around. That makes sense. Okay. So never mind. That was a big false alarm. The bridge is clearly fine. And here we go. 
progression. Sorry guys, it was a bit of a bumpy ride getting here, I admit. I would like, I, I need to chill. I need to chill, I need to just relax a bit today. Gather my thoughts, gather some stuff. Just relax, breathe in, breathe out. Carry on with life. Not let it drag me down, you know? Push forward. Roll through pots. I, I broke my promise. I said I'd roll through all the pots. Every pot ever. So, you know, it, we're, we're doing it. Here we go. The, the therapy of breaking terracotta. <laughs> it's like a... It's almost like a Blizzard dev quote. The guy did a talk about Diablo 3. was like... So... In Diablo 3, the greatest evil that our players were fighting at the time was terracotta. Also, you might be able to hear the big uh, dump truck outside my house. Well, the apartment, whatever you want to call the place I stay. Watch as you get, like, a bad end. A bad ending to your game because you touch goblet. No. Because you broke these pots. Also, I don't know why that one place is... Well, hmm. Some places are glowing more than others, but this one place is glowing a lot. Must be some kind of lighting error. What does the door say up here? Doesn't that open from this side? Can't open? No, no interaction prompt. Okay. Alright. I will touch the goblet. Ew. That's not a goblet. That's just... It's a head. With a crown on it. Teleport warp to another area? Do I get sent to like the dark dimension? Wow, okay. So here's when I fight that angel that splits in two, right? Hmm. Invisible wall. Okay. And now I'm lost. There we go. So that's an invisible wall. That's the claws of a... Um... I was gonna say this is a dragon, but this is clearly a giant dead person. I'm taking this. What are you, Sahalanthropus? Nice glowy armband rings. Hey, don't you dare. Wait, if he gets like all the way up here, do I just automatically lose? Probably. Going over here is invisible wall. Yeah. Now I can get behind you because you're a loser. What? What? Um. <laughs> okay. And now I don't know where to go. I'm lost. God damn it. Uh. Okay. So I have to let this thing come back to knock it hit. I think I can hide over here. Yeah, I can hide here. And then... 
I should be okay to just run to the boss. But this thing... I mean, if I... Hmm, I guess if I took the fight a bit more serious, I could have probably done okay. But... I was just a little bit surprised that, uh... Also, is this guy going to chase me all the way to the boss fight? I hope not. Does he even aggro from down there? But anyway, as I was saying, um, I was really expecting to be able to get behind this boss and give it a good wallop. Just a, a nice solid little butt touching. You know, the Dark Souls way. Huh. Um... How? How are you guys weren't here before? But you know what? That's okay. That's fine. I did not fight the uh, entire Undead Legion the last time I walked through here. Also, let's skip that. Hey, no fair. You come back too soon now. 188 damage. That's it. Clearly your uh, your hands are your weak point then. Nope, it's not quite. What? What? Oh, it's got to be the item then. It's it's got to be the item I picked up in front of him. Is that it? I didn't read what I picked up. Okay, that's all I picked up then. Huh. So... So how do I defend against instant death, black, fire, vomit, everywhere? But literally, how do I defend against this? I don't understand. Do I just need a shield with block? Also, that was clearly a miss, but okay. Nice to have a visual reference of a knife sticking out of me. So how did, like, I get the undead army after me last time? Like, when did they wake up? Like, does this guy cause it? When he sees me up here, does he aggro all of them? Does he do anything? Also, I'm glad that still hurts, no matter how much you try to avoid it. Now it's just one. How did I trigger, like, a hundred skeletons coming after me? Guess I'll never know. Well, we'll see you for the next one. We'll open up next episode on our, uh, what's probably going to be our last attempt here before I move on to another area.